Yo, what it be cats? My Hearscape20 here, and today guys, what I have for you today is Dragon Fight number 3 for Dragon Age Inquisitions. And today we are going to be fighting the Abyssal High Dragon. Um, you can find this dragon in the Western Approach, and this has the best intro for a dragon of any dragon, um, if I recall correctly. I don't think there's any other dragon that has a cooler intro and soundtrack before this, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. So it is vulnerable to the cold, it's resistance to fire, it has a guard ability, and it also breathes fire. So this is pretty much exactly like the Hinterlands Dragon. So um, if you had trouble with the Hinterlands Dragon, maybe, you know, kind of review your armor and everything, maybe so where you can do modifications that has some fire resistance, um, if you haven't already done that. Um, also, if you're having trouble, make sure you go ahead and encrypt a or equipped a frost rune to your uh, character so I definitely recommend doing that it's not wasting them if you do that now if it's a master rune I would definitely take it take it into uh, more consideration but if it is just a regular rune uh, you know these things you can get super easy and uh, anytime you're fighting like something like a dragon or something I would definitely recommend uh, equipping something that's gonna help you out so um, overall, this is a pretty easy boss fight. I didn't really have any trouble. Uh, as you can see, I still have the same team as last time, which is Dorian, Blackwall, and Cole. Now, this is should be the team, if I remember correctly, this should be the team that I used throughout uh, all of the dragon fights. So, I really feel like this team was overall balanced correctly, and it pretty much did exactly what I wanted it to do. So, um, nothing really new on my character besides the fact that I now have um, the leaping jump shot which you saw. Um, I still have the same uh, mark, Inquisitor mark, um, special ability so you know nothing's really changed on that. Later on I will get a one that will benefit my class more. Uh, I don't want to give any spoilers but uh, you will see that later on too. So um, I guess we can talk about the different tonics that you can use. Uh, just like the Hinterlands Dragon, you can use the Fire Resistance Tonic. I definitely recommend doing that. It'll help out a ton. Um, there's also different armor tonics that you can do or things to make your uh, characters bulkier. Um, anything that's going to help you out HP-wise or resistant-wise is definitely um, beneficial. Um, also, one more thing is Blackwall has a armor penetration or pretty much any warrior has an armor penetration skill uh, i can't remember exactly which one that's called because it's it's been a little while since i've looked into the warrior uh skill tree but that's super important for taking down dragons or really any tough enemy um it makes it to where your armor pin and uh just your raw damage is a lot more so that that's actually very helpful um so yeah there's really nothing uh new about this dragon fight um, some of the upcoming dragon fights that you guys are going to see have many different, you know, variations to them. But this one, like I said, this one is pretty identical to the Hinterlands Dragon. So, um, yeah, there's really nothing new. Um, like I said, just like last time, kind of, if you attack a leg or an arm or whatever, you keep attacking that. As you can see, just what happened right there, it'll go down because it took so much damage to that part. And that's when you can really do the, um heavy damage to him he has no more resistance no more his like shields and armor and everything drop so you can do a lot more damage and the immunity stuff um doesn't really pop up <clears throat> as much so um anyway for beating this you get 1400 xp you get i believe 1600 uh influence points let's see okay it's not going to show um but let's see what we get for defeating this dragon so for defeating this dragon, you get a Nameless Blade, which is a um, AoE dagger. I personally don't like that, uh, AoE daggers, but you also get the Superb Armor Penetration Ring, which is very helpful on coal um, or like Iron Bull, something that wants to do get up close and just do raw damage. So like I said, keep your Dragon Bone scales and everything because they will be beneficial later on. So previous video is the Northern Hunter, and that is one of... Um, the more unique dragons, I would say. It's got an uh, electric kind of aspect to it, so I definitely recommend checking that out. And feature video is the Waddle Gobbler for Borderlands 2. Um, 
you know, Thanksgiving's coming up pretty soon, so I figured you might as well watch something about turkey. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want to see more videos just like this one, please leave a thumbs up. Also, best way to contact me is on Twitter at MyHeroScape20. And if you want to see me play this game live, go to twitch.tv slash MyHeroScape20. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace.